Security and Medicare since before there was Medicare. I've been studying for over 50 years, and Social Security and Medicare are not dead. They're strong. Woo! Yay! But they're in the crosshairs. There are people who are trying to get rid of them. And let me tell you the dirty little secret. You're told now that we have to get rid of them or to reduce benefits to deal with the deficit and the debt. Yeah. Oh. The dirty little secret is this. They could eliminate Social Security benefits entirely and it would not affect the debt. I can tell you the dude. Or the deficit. All it would do is build up bigger trust funds. And the only way they could deal with the deficit through Social Security is to keep taxing the workers but not give them their benefits. And that's what they have in mind. Now, when I talk about Social Security and when I talk about Medicare, I usually start with a quotation from the late Will Rogers, who once said, it ain't what people don't know that's so dangerous. It's what people know that just ain't so. <laughs> and everything you hear these days about Medicare and Social Security and the debt just ain't so. We hear that the debt's killing us, right? Yep. Yep. Wrong. What is killing us? No jobs. Yeah. We need jobs. We're told that the national debt is bigger than it's ever been. Is that true? No. 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 The national debt right now is about 70% of GDP. That's high. But it's not as high as it has been. Japan has 200% national debt. That's doing okay. <laughs> Our national debt is about 70%, and after World War II, do you know what it was? It's about 120%. Yeah. Wow. Well, to get out of that, we had to have austerity, right? Wrong. Wrong. Oh, no. Look at the 15 years after World War II, and what happened? First of all, we educated millions of returning service people. Yeah. Free ride. Yeah. Full tuition. Yeah. Yeah. Living expenses. Economic growth. Economic growth is what resulted. We gave them full rights to college, people who would never have thought about going to college before. And we converted this country from a working class country to a middle class country. What else happened in those years? Well, since the debt was so high, we had to cut back on Social Security and entitlements, right? Wrong. Oh. We expanded them. We expanded Social Security to cover almost every worker in the country. No justice, no peace. No justice, in no 1956, peace. under Republican President Dwight Eisenhower, we added disability benefits to Social Security. We were spending billions of dollars a year to rebuild war-torn Europe. Our tax rates went up into the 90% range at the top level. And we embarked upon the biggest public works program in the history of the planet, yeah. the interstate highway system. <laughs> now, the result of all that big government spending had to have been a recession, right? Wrong. 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 What did result? The greatest economic growth in our history. Economic growth. Prosperity. We spent our way out of the debt. They say you can't do that. They say government can't create jobs. How many of you have been in a small town where there's been a military base that's closed up? What happens? It dies. It dies. Anybody who thinks the government can't create jobs doesn't understand the government or jobs. If the government cuts 300,000 jobs, that's 300,000 more people out of work. So I'm telling you, support Social Security, support Medicare, yes. support a jobs program, yes. support an enormous public works program. We need mass transit. We need Woo! to yes! public yes! infrastructure. Yes! We need to put people to work. Yes! This, march, this march is important. All the marches are important, but I'll tell you the most important march that you can make is next November to the ballot box. Yes. Woo! And whether we like it or not, we only will have two choices. You will have President Obama get reelected, 
or you will have a republic. And I don't always agree with Bill Maher. <laughs> but when he's right, he's dead on right. And he said to his friends who are disappointed with President Obama, he said, look at our choices. You are going to have a president who is a friend who has disappointed you or one who's your bitter enemy who wants to annihilate you. Now, which is the choice? That's your choice.